the Lego store or Discovery Center. The wife and kids went out for the day, so you know what that means. A Brook Creator day out at the Lego stores. We're gonna go out to the actual Lego store and a Discovery Center today and see which one's better. Come with me for the ride. So this is my very first vlog on my YouTube channel and probably won't be the last. But if this is the first time you're joining my journey, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button too. So we finally just made it to the Lego store. So let's head on in. So I'm heading into the third largest mall in America and I like to make sure I enter through the same spot so that I can always find my way around here. And it just so happens to be around my wife's favorite store. Maybe I should pick her up something while I'm here. And not too many stores actually have two locations, but this one does have two different of their own stores within the same building. But we finally got to the main reason we're here, the Lego store. And one of the first things you noticed is the flower display. Who doesn't love the fact that they finally have a vase that you can build? And we always love seeing all the brick built characters within the store. Did you know, fun fact, that these are all glued together before they make it to the store? I mean, you don't want people taking Autumn and Leo's pieces. Now here's a set that's on my radar, the Vikings Village. And look at how great these birds are. But I did not expect the new London telephone to look that great. Now if you follow my other account, you'll notice that I just finally picked up the Millennium Falcon. But they actually don't have it here, so I'm glad I ordered online. And here's the Creator 3-in-1s, which everyone is saying is the 2024 theme of the year so far. I mean, it's only January, but they have some bangers. And here we have the Hulkbuster or the biggest bust. And don't forget about this Batcave. I want to grab it, but not at 400 bucks. And here we have some of the new Brickheads. If I didn't order these online already, these are probably the ones I would have grabbed on February 1st if I came to the store. This is a theme I wish I got into sooner. But I'm not mad that I just started with it. Now I'm not that big into the Lego flowers, but this Tranquil Garden set is really calling my name. I think this would look great on a desk. And all the classic space, I'm loving it. However, I really wish that they made this into the old school classic space theme. Now here's a set that I'm intrigued with, but not for the set itself of the family reunion, but more for the rebrickable designs that you can find online. But the biggest thing that I'm looking at is the pick-a-build wall. This is what I'm going to be comparing between the two stores mostly. And I do like that they finally have the small and the large boxes for pieces. But as I'm browsing through all the bins of Lego, I really just don't see anything that's eye-popping that makes me want to grab a box. I mean, there's a couple cool parts, but it feels like if I bought any of them, I would have a lot of wasted space within that box. The only thing I'd grab was maybe these, but I don't need a whole box of them. All right, so I just left the Lego store, and as you can see, I walked away with nothing today from there. I really wanted to check the pick-a-build wall, and I was really disappointed that they barely had any parts in there. It seemed like a lot of the bins were just empty, so we walked away with nothing. I'm hoping the Discovery Center is a little bit better, but did you notice they did have the new boxes? The thing that caught my attention was the increase in the small and the large boxes that they have from what the small and the large cup used to be. So we thought we were getting 10% more Lego by switching to the boxes, but it looks like they raised the prices that same 10%. So are they even better than the cups? Now we're gonna head to the Discovery Center. The good thing about this drive is it's only about 15 minutes from the actual Lego store. All right, so we made it to the Lego Discovery Center. So let's hope this has a better selection for the pick a brick wall because that's really what I'm here for. All right, so quick side note, I hate pig parkers. I mean, if you're gonna park in a space, please be within the lines. All right, but back to Lego. Here we have an awesome giraffe that's at the entrance of this mall. And now we're gonna take you into the actual store. So as you're walking in, you'll notice the eye-catching floor to ceiling display of all the sets. And then they have this nice Discovery Center, which is an area you can play, take rides, watch 40 movies, but you do have to have a kid to go in there with you. So I'm just going to go to the store. So one of the things I noticed in the Star Wars section is they do have the Millennium Falcon. However, it's $850 and you get no insider points with buying any sets here. So I normally hold off on purchasing any big purchases here. And then I just got to ask for anybody that's built this Chewbacca. 
Doesn't this remind you of Harry and the Hendersons a little bit? I mean, look at this. Now, I didn't even notice the family tree, and I like the idea of it, but not for the price. And if you're looking for shirts, check out my Create Your World designs. Now, here's where the stores set themselves apart. You won't find these personalized name tags at the Lego store. And poly bags. You're probably going to have to spend 50 bucks to get these as a gift with purchase with Lego, but you'll be able to purchase them separately here. And I always love how they have all these plushies at this store. I mean, they change them out frequently, but you won't find that at the Lego store. The only thing I don't like is the buildable minifigs are already pre-sorted for you, so you can't select them on your own. Now the real reason we're here is the pick-a-brick wall, and notice that they call it pick-a-brick and Lego calls it pick-a-build. Now aside from the different bricks, you'll notice that the price is actually $2 more a box here. So in terms of what you're paying, it's a little bit more pricey, but the selection is a lot better. And I've found the selection is always a lot better than the actual Lego store. So it sometimes is worth it to stop here to spend the $2 more a box. Now I didn't see any parts I wanted, but when I walked out, I did see this Girl Scout table set up with their cookies. And you gotta respect the hustle. So the fact that these girls were out selling cookies, I decided I had to buy some. I mean, it is for a good cause and who doesn't like cookies? So we're just leaving the Lego Discovery Center. They had a little bit better selection on the pick a brick wall. You saw those masonry bricks, those are some of my favorite. However, they didn't have the light blue gray, which is my favorite color, so I didn't grab anything today, which is very surprising going to two different Lego stores and walking away with nothing. But as you saw, we walked away with the Girl Scout cookies and we had to get the Caramel Delights for my wife. And for myself, I had to grab the peanut butter cookies. What are your favorite Girl Scout cookies that you get? So this concludes the video. Thanks again for coming along and checking out both Lego stores. Let me know in the comments which Lego store you think's better. And since I'm pretty close by to the Ikea, I'm actually going to take you there in the next video and show you some of the things that you should get for your Lego room if you want to have great displays as well as organization. See you in the next video. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And remember, keep creating.